the life of plato by hesuchius of miletus translated by george burgess this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by geoffrey edwards plato the philosopher is said to have never undergone even once the marriage state or sexual intercourse and they say that his mother became pregnant from a divine vision when apollo appeared to her but when she had brought forth plato that her husband cohabited with her and that being with broad shoulders or face he was called plato but some assert that he was so called from being broad in his discourses hence timon while ridiculing him says in his farcical verses the broadest man led all but with sweet voice he talked the picture of the tedex kind that settling on the trees of hecademus their pleasant note pour forth for the spot which is now academia was formerly called hecademia he made for himself a mingling of the doctrines of heraclitus pythagoras and socrates for on things perceptible by the senses he philosophized according to heraclitus on those perceptible by mind according to pythagoras but on those relating to politics according to socrates he was likewise much indebted to epicharmus for epicharmus says the wise assert that the soul perceives some things through the body as for example by hearing and seeing but on other things it reflects itself by itself without making any use of the body and hence of the things that exist some are perceptible by the senses and some by the mind on which account plato has said that it is requisite for those who desire to look into the principles of the universe to separate in the first place ideas themselves by themselves such as similitude and unity and number and magnitude and rest and motion secondly to lay down itself by itself beauty and goodness and justice and such kind of things and thirdly to look into such of the ideas as have a relation to each other to wit science or magnitude or arbitrary power and to consider that what are with us have the same name as those through their participating in them i mean that things are just such as participate in the abstractedly just and are beautiful such as participate in the abstractedly beautiful and that each of the species is eternal and a notion and moreover not subject to circumstances hence he says likewise that ideas exist in nature as if they were patterns and that the rest of things are like to them as being their resemblances epicharmus too thus expresses himself touching the abstractedly good and ideas seems not the case then to be thus about the good that of itself it is a thing and he who learning knows it good becomes just as a piper who has learnt to pipe or to dance has a dancer learnt or some weaver to weave or what you will of trades like these himself's the artist not the art plato accompanied cabrius the general on trial for a capital charge when not one of the citizens was willing to do so and when crobulus the informer met him as he was going up together with cabrius to the acropolis and said art thou come to plead on the side of another not knowing that the hemlock of socrates awaits thee he replied when too i served in the army for the sake of fatherland i endured dangers and now for the sake of duty on account of a friend i will endure them but though he was such a kind of person he was nevertheless scoffed at by the writers of comedy at least theopompus says for one is none and two as plato holds is scarcely one and anaxandrides too in his theseus 
when olives he devoured, that Plato loves. And Timon likewise, while thus playing on the letters of his name, as Plato plates in plated wonders skilled. Alexis in Meropis, thou art come in time, since I, in doubtings tossed, am walking up and down, and Plato-like find naught that's wise, but merely tire my feet. And in Anculian, A. Thou speak'st of what thou knowest not one jot. B. Mind has with Plato been a running. A. Knowst thou what is a pound, and onions what? B. Not I. Amphis in Amphicrates. A. What is the good which you are about to have through her? I know still less than does my master of the good in Plato. On questions which he comprehended, Plato exhibits his opinions, and falsehoods he confutes. But on points that are uncertain, he holds back. And what he has made up his mind upon, he exhibits by means of four characters. Socrates, Timaeus, the Athenian guest, and the one from Elia. But amongst those confuted for falsehoods, he introduces Thrasymachus, Callicles, Paulus, and Gorgias. He asserted that the principle of the soul was arithmetical, but of the body geometrical, and he defined it to be an idea of a breath standing apart on every side, and that it is self-moved and tripartite. End of The Life of Plato